Hello and welcome to Aurora. Wait a minute. Welcome to FDN Verb, the first official alternate firmware for Aurora. FDN Verb is short for Feedback Delay Network, an algorithm used in the world of digital reverbs. Before we get into this new firmware for Aurora, let's talk about how we got this new firmware installed. With the USB drive on the front panel, all we have to do is drop the new firmware on the drive, plug the drive back in, and boot the module. There's no key commands or secrets. It's super simple. The link to the FDN Verb firmware page is below, and you can find firmware versions there. One thing to keep in mind is that you can only have one firmware file on your USB drive at once. What I like to do is I have a folder on my desktop with all the firmware files in it. That way I can just swap them out really easily. As you can see when FDN Verb is installed, the LEDs look like this up top. Like most reverbs, FDN uses delay lines to add a sense of space to a sound. FDN verbs are incredibly straightforward while producing beautiful results. So let's dive right into it. I want to take note of our initial knob position for FDN verb, and this will make more sense as we go further into the video. I have both the mix knob and the input level knob at 50% with the rest of the knobs fully counterclockwise. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. First off, let's hear some reverbs. I'm going to turn time up here. Time controls the decay length on FDN verb. For short room verbs, you want to keep this below 12. For halls to near infinite reverb tails, keep it on the upper half of the knob. Thanks to internal mechanisms working in the reverb algorithm, you don't need to worry about feedback issues at the top end of the knob. Now, our reverb is sounding amazing, but it's a little clean and metallic-like. Um, so this is where pitch comes in, which adds pitch modulation to the reverberated signal. Turn it up just a bit, and we begin to hear a more natural, warm reverb. And as we bring the pitch knob higher, the pitch modulation becomes much deeper, and at the end of the knob, pitch will simultaneously soar up and dive down through octaves. Pitch isn't the only way we can tailor our reverb. Let's jump over to FDN Verb's filter section, beginning with high pass. This is fairly straightforward knob, which, as the name states, high pass filters your reverb. Damp is the other side to the filtering coin, but much more than just a low pass filter, Damp specifically adjusts low-order, low-pass filters that are contained within the cross-delay line feedback network. That's such a mouthful. So as I turn this knob up, the sound is organically dampened by filtering out higher frequency reflections in the feedback, creating a darker, cavernous sound. We've gone over the sound shaping portion of FDN Verb. Let's take a look at the mixing section. There are two knobs that we'll be looking at, Mix and Input Level. Mix is your standard mix knob, which blends between the dry and wet signal. The gain is constant across the knob, meaning that as we introduce the wet signal, the dry signal gets quieter while the wet signal gets louder. To accompany it, FDN Verb includes a separate Input Level knob. This determines the amplitude of the signal inputted into the reverb algorithm. This lets you dial in how much of your audio is going into the feedback delay network and is handy for not only effect sends, but for changing the timbre and resonance of your reverb. As I turn up the input level, the reverb signal will get louder and toward the far end of the knob, the delay networks will start to feedback, creating a resonant character and occasionally some soft saturation. This is most noticeable when time is on the top end of the knob. The two buttons on Aurora Reverse and Freeze behave the same in FDN Verb as they do with the stock firmware. Freeze will lock the inputted audio, which then reverberates indefinitely, while Reverse will play the inputted audio backwards into the reverb. 
FDN verb also has two shift functions found on these buttons for additional configurability. Holding shift and pressing freeze will change the input level range and when adjusted will bring the far left end of the knob to complete silence. We'll show a patch example later to show how this setting can be used. Holding shift and pressing reverse will change the effect order within FDN verb. The default mode has the reverb at the end of the signal path, but when activated, reverse is placed at the end of the signal path instead. Thanks so much for checking out FDN verb. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.